Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial and in this video we are going to take a look at how we can magically turn our table view into a bunch of buttons. So basically how you can offer your user the, uh, the option of tapping on one of your table view cells and then transitioning him, him over to a detailed view of that cell. So basically have a table view, then you use a user clicks on one of the cells and then you transition over to a view that has something to do with that table view cell that the user just clicked on. So if that is something you want to know how to do, then just keep watching and we will do it right here, right now. So let's start by opening up Xcode. And we're going to create a new project and make this a single view application. Then I'm going to call it cell phone next and I'm just going to save it on my desktop. Now the first thing that I want to do is I want to jump straight over to our storyboard where we're going to lay out our app. Here we go. So here we have our uh, normal view controller. So this is the view controller that we want to transition to when our user clicks on one of our cells. But so that we have some cells that user can tap on, we need a table view controller. Let's just drag that in and make that the initial view controller by dragging over this arrow, which simply means that this is the first view controller that is being displayed when our user opens our app. Then we can just set it up a bit more by giving it an identifier cell. Now, if you aren't too comfortable with creating table views, then I would suggest you check out my video on how to create a table view where we go through this in detail. Right now, we're just going to set everything up. So here we have our table view controller. Let's also create a new file that goes along with this controller so that we can do some programmatic stuff here. Make sure that it's of subclass UI table view controller and then just create it just like that. And then we have to connect them up by tapping on our table view controller and setting the class equal to our table view controller, which we just created. Then what we also want to do is we want to create a segue by holding down control and then dragging over to our view controller, press show, and then let's give this a name, which is just going to be segue for now. So here is going to be our table view and let's just set that up so that we have that in place and that we can see that that is at least working. So here we have a bunch of stuff. Uh, what we real this, all this we don't need. Now, if I just jump over here, our view control has to be able to access data uh, from our table view controller. Now there are a bunch of ways of how you can do that. You can pass data between them, but right now, in order to make this as simple as possible, I'm just going to make our array global. That's the easiest and simplest way of doing this. So let's just say var, and I'm going to have uh, pets, which are going to have the names dog, cat, and rabbit. So these are my three pets and these are the pets that are going to populate our table view. Now let's also add a description to these pets. So let's say var pet desk is equal to, for example, dog is an animal that has four legs. That's the first description. Then for our cat, a cat is an animal that likes to eat fish. And we have a rabbit. A rabbit is an animal that likes to jump around. So here we have two arrays, one with each with the name of each pet and then a description for each pet. And why we have that becomes very clear in a couple of seconds. Now we just have to set up our table view. We don't need this one. We only need this one, number of rows in section, which basically tells our table view how many rows we want. And of course we want as many rows as we have items in our array. Then we also need this one, which is going to set up the text within the table view cells. We gave it the identifier cell, uh, if you remember in the storyboard. And then here we can then set cell.textlabel.text 
equal to pets dot count not pets dot count but pets at index path dot row just like that and then we're going to return the cell so now that should work let's launch it let's launch frequently here so that we make sure that we don't get a bunch of errors at the end so let's check that at least our table view is working and if it is we're going to work on transitioning from our table view controller to our view controller when our user taps on one of the cells so here we have it dog cat rabbit uh, that's working awesome of course you can click on them but that's what we're going to do right now so let's jump over to xcode and we need one more function then but i don't think that function is anywhere here so i'm just going to delete all of this and i'm going to use uh, the function did select row at index path and all we want to do here is we want to let's create another variable up here var my index which is going to be equal to zero so here my index is going to contain the item in the array that we currently want to display so uh let's see our my index is equal to index path dot row and index path dot row is always going to be the cell at least within this function is always going to be the cell that our user tapped on so we're going to have three cells if our user tapped on the first one which is dog we're going to have my index of zero when he, if he clicks on cat we're going to have a my index of one and that way we will be able to access that item in our view control so we save that and then we perform our segue. Perform segue with identifier segue and the sender can be self. That's really all we need for our table view controller. So let's jump over to our view controller and set everything up there. But of course we need to also pay a visit to our storyboard where we need to drag in some labels. So I'm going to have one label which is going to display the name of the animal. So I'm going to have that be a bit larger of a font, 20 maybe. And then I'm also going to have an image view, which is going to display an image of that animal. And I'm going to set it to aspect fit. And then I'm going to have my description, which is also going to be a label. You can make that a text view, but I'm just going to make it a label for now. And maybe add a line to it and adjust it to the center and then we're going to connect them up with our view controller now make sure that you aren't just selecting table view controller here make sure that you go here recent files and click on view controller then we can import them all three objects so we click our label drag it over title label then we have our image view my image view let's see and then here we have our desk label description label let's connect that up and that's really all we need for our maybe we could also add a back button that wouldn't be a bad idea so that we can go back after we have watched it i'm not going to let's see let's control drag over and i click show i'm going to give it the text back Okay, so let's jump over to our view controller and now we're going to set up everything so that everything is working perfectly. Uh, let's see, view did load, we're going to do within the view did load method. We're going to set the title label equal to, and as you remember, our title is contained in the pets array at my index. So we're going to set this equal to pets at my index, not my, let's see, my index. And then we have our, and let's also say dot text, pets at my index. And then we're also going to have desk label dot text is equal to uh, pet desk at my index. And then I also have prepared three nice images here of some animals. So I'm going to drag them in also. And then I am just going to set uh, my image view dot image which is equal to ui image and we are going to use let's see it from a named there we go and it is named 
Um, let's see, pet, not string, let's see, pet at, I'm going to explain everything that I do right here in a second, my index, uh, and then I'm going to add dot JP, jpeg okay so what we have done here basically let's take it all from the beginning let's see that this is at least yeah so what we have done here is we have set up a completely uh, normal table view controller the only function that we have added that is new is did select row at index path all this function does it is li it listens for a tap on one of its cells so if the table view discovers a tap on one of its cells, it sends us, us a, a notification or the function is fired. And then it uh, gives us the cell that was tapped on through this index path dot row. We save that cell in my index and then we perform a segue to our view controller. Then when this view control, uh, controller loads, we set the type label to be equal to pets at my index, which gives us the, the active uh, pet that the user has tapped on. Then also the corresponding description. And then we set the image to be equal to the pet's name plus JPEG. And as you can see, that simply refers to one of these images here. And I made sure that the image name or the name of the image is equal to the name of the animal that just makes it a lot easier for me so let's launch this application and now we will take a look at how it all looks uh, when we have set everything up so here we have dog cat rabbit let's click on rabbit for example and here we have rabbit and an image of a rabbit a rabbit is an animal that likes to jump around we can also go back and we can click on dog which will give us a dog and we can also choose the cat, which will give us a cat. So that's all there is to it. As you can see, it really isn't that hard. Uh, I just got a lot of requests on it. That's why I wanted to make this video. Now, if you enjoyed it, make sure that you click the subscribe button down below so that you stay tuned for future videos. And other than that, thank you for watching.